now on WRDE Coast TV. Sussex Central Principal Dr. Bradley Layfield through his lawyer is calling his suspension wrongful. Downtown Dewey Beach will be a little bit emptier. What the community is saying about its new curfew rules. And right now we're tipping our hat to downtown Lewis. And why is such a great place to hang out? From above, this land on Milton could potentially be covered with houses. Why neighbors are unhappy. From the beaches to the bays, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV News at 6 starts right now. Sending teams home earlier in Dewey Beach. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 6. The curfew for teens in Dewey Beach is now earlier by an hour. The town of Dewey Beach has made that other step to keep troublemaking teens, they say, off of the streets. Coast TV News reporter Charles Reinert shows us why that curfew has been put into place and why Dewey Beach say it is a needed change. The rules for teens are now stricter in Dewey Beach. Town commissioners unanimously voted to make the curfew 11 p.m. seven days a week. Before, people 17 and younger had to be off the street by 11 only Sunday to Thursday and by Monday on Fridays and Saturdays. This comes after numerous complaints about teens staying out late and loitering in parking lots. The town says this new change will help keep the town safe and it needed to be done. What that'll do is give our police department more time to try to get the large groups of uh, teenagers off the street so then they can deal with the folks when they let out of the bars around one o'clock. Zolper added that he believes the problems with teenagers will quiet down a bit once the off season comes. The fine for breaking curfew was recently up to $300 this past July. I'm Charles Reiner in Dewey Beach, Coast TV News. As the new school year fast approaches, we are hearing from a Sussex Central principal who was put on paid leave almost three months ago. Coast TV News reporter Mallory Metzner is in the newsroom. A statement from an attorney explains why a criminal investigation was started at the school in the first place. Charlie, in a statement today, civil rights attorney Thomas Newberger calls Dr. Bradley Layfield's suspension, quote, wrongful and politically motivated. Newberger says that Principal Layfield was mistakenly put on paid leave after he showed surveillance video of a dangerous school fight to other staff members. Meanwhile, the district named an acting principal and acting director of special education last week. According to Dr. Bradley Layfield's attorney, it all started on May 17th when a fight broke out in the main school hallway before the opening bell rang. Civil rights attorney Thomas Newberger says a school constable, a custodian, school staff, and assistant principal Donovan all tried to break up the fight, but when the teenage girl Donovan was holding broke free, the girl's shirt came up, briefly exposing her. Layfield's attorney says the principal then reviewed the surveillance video with faculty members in his office to keep them informed and safe, something Dr. Layfield says has been done after countless fights. Newberger says he believes Layfield's suspension to be, quote, politically motivated either internally at the school or at the central office. The Indian River Board of Education has approved Dr. Judith Brittingham as the acting principal of Sussex Central High School and Dr. Tara Thorogood as the district's acting director of special education. In a statement last week, the district said, quote, these are acting positions of uncertain duration while the district awaits additional information. But according to his attorney, Dr. Layfield petitions the school board under the First Amendment for the redress of this grievance imposed on him, a respected long-term member of the Sussex County community. The Indian River School District tells Coast TV News in a statement that it continues to cooperate with law enforcement in the completion of their investigation. A spokesperson for the district says they have no additional comment at this time. Maddie Charlie, back to you. Thank you, Mallory. The town of Laurel filed an application with the United States Department of Agriculture to buy surveillance cameras to place at various locations around the town. According to the town, the request will be for almost $12,000. A public hearing is going to be held tonight to discuss the project and give the opportunity for public comment. That takes place at 7 p.m. With Labor Day approaching, the Delaware Office of Highway Safety is reminding drivers to get sober or get pulled over. State and local law enforcement are taking part in the campaign to keep drivers safe during the holiday weekend. According to the state, officers will be strictly enforcing traffic laws and will find drivers breaking the rules. 
In addition to the campaign, the agency is supporting Mothers Against Drunk Driving's Walk Like Mad event. That is September 24th at 9.30 a.m. in Rehoboth Beach to help raise awareness of the dangers involved with impaired driving. There was a power outage today in some parts of Seaford. Some of you at home might have experienced this. According to the city, power was affected from the railroad tracks of East Route 13 from Stein Highway to the river. Officials say workers were in the area to remove a tree limb from the power line that caused the outage. They say all power should be restored at this time, but if you're still experiencing an outage, they say to contact the city. We are taking a live look into the Lewis Yacht Club, a beautiful scene out there. And our first alert chief meteorologist Paul Williams joins us live now with a look at our weather in Lewis. Good evening, Paul. Well, right now we're downtown Lewis at this present time and the pedestrian traffic is picking up right now. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, listen. It's a blast down here, and there's so many different things that you can enjoy in downtown Lewis. But first of all, let's take a look at the forecast here briefly. Downtown Lewis, the current condition right now, 84 degrees right now with mostly sunny skies. And we are continuing to anticipate that it's going to clear throughout a good portion of the evening hours as we begin to kind of pull out a little bit more so from the from on a wider view. Uh, you can see that we have these uh, troughs that are actually in our general vicinity, but they're pulling away here. And we have this cold front that's rushing its way towards the uh, southeast, and that's going to help to drop the temperatures dramatically for us for tomorrow. But as far as the window shopping is concerned here in downtown Lewis at this present time, we're expecting this to clear up by 8 o'clock, and then partly cloudy skies with temperatures hovering in the 70s for the rest of the evening, even after the shops close couple of bars still staying open. Now coming up, we're going to be talking about why the flower bed is so special, as well as why the clock is such a really big deal. Until then, back to you. Thank you, Paul. The Delaware Emergency Management Agency will host a hurricane awareness course on Wednesday, August 23rd from 12.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. That's at the Ocean View Police Multipurpose Room according to the agency, that this course will help increase people's understanding of hurricane science, forecasting, and preparedness. Unusable. That is how some pickleball players describe the courts at Canal Front Park in Lewis, even after a recent resurfacing project. Days after the courts opened after maintenance, the first state pickleball club says about 30 members came out to test them. They say they may be even worse than before, with many areas where the balls fall flat. Now these players are asking the city council what can be done here so they don't have to travel miles to play the sport they love. These are my HOA courts. I'm a, a town resident and I think, you know, we've had these courts here. We're not asking for anything new. We're just asking that they hold the uh, installer accountable for the job. The contractors Coast TV News spoke with say sometimes it does take a year or more for the courts to relax and the dead spots naturally go away. But these players say it's been more than a year with no relief. Delvout announced the closure of the Woodland Ferry for this Thursday, August 24th. The agency says normal hours, those are going to resume on Friday the 25th. Starting today, contractors will be working again on intersections in Milton. The town says the first is the intersection of Wharton Street, Atlantic Street, and Chestnut Street. That's all one place. The second is Wharton Street, where it intersects with Federal and Mulberry Streets. Finally, the intersection of Broad Street and Union Street also being paved there. The town says paving projects are also happening on Tobin Drive and Hazard Street. This empty field could become another housing development in Milton. You can see it right there on the screen. The developer wants to put 163 homes on this land. As Coast TV News reporter Alisa Weber shows us, people that already live in Milton aren't happy to see yet another development in the works. Seen from the air, this empty land could become another Milton housing development. The proposed development is located on Harbison Road across from Mariner Middle School. People in Milton we spoke with are not happy about more development. Warren DeSantis wants the town to focus more on repairing roads and other existing parts of town. I think that the town is annexing more properties that I think they cannot handle the infrastructure. Councilman Scotty Adler was one of the two votes against the new development. Adler is against it because he wants roads that need repairing to be the priority. And he wants the town to finish current developments before approving new ones. Many moved to Milton 
for its small town feel and charm. More developing could potentially ruin this charm. I've been here for 16 years now. I don't think the people are as close as they were before or care, enough, care about each other like they did before. Warren DeSantis expressed the same concern. A lot of people moved here for the, for the beauty of the small town and it's, it's losing its charm. This haystack behind me could soon become a house. The proposal for this land is currently under review by the Planning and Zoning Commission. In Milton, I'm Elisa Weber, Coast TV News. This brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know, should coastal communities improve their roads before new developments are permitted? It was pretty <laughs> lopsided earlier yeah. this evening, but let's take another look at the poll results. And it is still lopsided. 97% say yes, the roads have to be fixed before you build anything else. So 3% say no, you can just do that first. And if you want to go vote in this poll, pretty easy to do. WRDE.com or you can use our mobile app. We'll show you those updated results later in the newscast. And we are just beginning here on Coast TV News. Staying at the lodge at Redden State Forest, how making a reservation just got easier for campers. A live look into the Lewis Yacht Club, a beautiful day and a warm day. Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams will show you what your evening weather is going to look like tonight. But first, building sandcastles in Lewis. What inspires this woman to build and share her sandcastle knowledge with others? We're back in just 60 seconds. Get ready for an unforgettable driving experience at Gateway Subaru. Discover the rugged elegance of the Subaru Outback with its symmetrical all-wheel drive that ensures you'll conquer any terrain with confidence. Or get ready to elevate your drive with the all-new, redesigned 2024 Subaru Crosstrack with its sleek design, advanced technology, and enhanced performance. Right now, you can custom order the all-new Crosstrack at Gateway Subaru. Embrace the thrill of driving and embark on your next adventure. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. At Paul Davis, we get asked, what's the difference between salt-treated wood decking and composite decking? Salt-treated wood decking costs less and comes with lots of maintenance over the years. The composite deck, however, looks like wood, won't fade, insect resistant, and is basically maintenance free. Call now. We can give you an estimate as early as tomorrow. Now extended through August 31st, we are offering composite decking for the same price as salt-treated wood. Plus, our composite decks come with a lifetime warranty. Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodeling, we are the difference makers. Sandcastle at the beach can actually be kind of tough, but one woman is using her 50 years of experience to help others perfect the craft. As Coast TV News reporter Tori Seagraves shows us, she has a few tips and tricks in her bucket that you may want to consider next time you go to build. I love Lewis. Linda Hicks McEwen, aka the Sandcastle Lady, grabs her shovel and gets to work on her next masterpiece. McEwen spends most days on Lewis Beach, just off of Massachusetts Avenue, making sandcastles. And proves it doesn't take much more than a popsicle stick or a spoon to be an artist. I use these very high-tech tools that kids uh, lust after them, and I'll tell them, you can go to the Dairy Queen and get more. Her process for building a great sandcastle all starts with a big mound of sand. After you scoop it, then you get water and splash it, never pour it. Uh, when you pour water, it makes a hole, so I teach the kids to splash. Even things like the moon have to be taken into consideration to make your sandcastle last. I was a little bit uh, closer, but the tide's coming in because of the full moon on the 30th. So every day it'll be a little bit further until we get to the 30th. She even showed me her techniques on how to shape cottages. Kids come to her for advice and to show off their own projects. I really like building the tunnel. Why is that? Because it's fun to dig under the ground and have like it be covered. It is a craft that doesn't always go as planned, but yields beautiful results in the end. If you think you want to make a, a long castle and the sand says, nope, you just have to do it again and it'll be better the second time. I always tell them that. If you're looking for some tips and tricks on how to build a better sandcastle, McEwen will be here every day from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. as long as it's sunny out. I'm Tori Seagraves in Lewis, Coast TV News. And we're still here live in downtown Lewis, and folks are getting ready to enjoy not only the flowers, not only the clock, but I see some folks going down there for some ice cream. You gonna bring back one, buddy? 
He said, oh, guess not. Crank up your back to school style at Vernon Powell. The hottest brands and athletic shoes that kick it. Plus get backpacks, shoes, lunch bags, drinkware, and more. 20% off every second item. Now through Labor Day at Vernon Powell, behind the mall in Salisbury. Beat the wind and rain with 50% off your new Valor Roof. Plus, payments as low as $119 per month. Purchase with purpose. Your new Valor Roof helps us donate a new roof every month to combat veterans in need. 833-83-VALOR. Chill out and win big at Ocean Downs with Coolers of Cash. Every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, you can win cash or free play, plus a finalist entry for our final drawing on August 26th. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Get ready for an unforgettable driving experience at Gateway Subaru. Discover the rugged elegance of the Subaru Outback with its symmetrical all-wheel drive that ensures you'll conquer any terrain with confidence. Or get ready to elevate your drive with the all-new, redesigned 2024 Subaru Crosstrack with its sleek design, advanced technology, and enhanced performance. Right now, you can custom order the all-new Crosstrack at Gateway Subaru. Embrace the thrill of driving and embark on your next adventure. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Keep up with local sports all from What App. From your mobile device to Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV. Download the DSN app today. Driven by Preston Automotive Group. Don't get scorched this summer storm season. Stay ahead of the leaks. Save big on your new Valor Roof with 50% off all materials and payments as low as $119 per month. Call Valor Roofing today. 833-83-VALOR. Crank up your back-to-school style at Vernon Powell. The hottest brands and athletic shoes that kick it. Plus get backpacks, shoes, lunch bags, drinkware, and more. 20% off every second item. Now through Labor Day at Vernon Powell, behind the mall in Salisbury. When choosing a granite countertop, choose one for real life and beauty. No matter what life throws at them, they'll look beautiful forever. Ancient Art Stone invites you to discover the affordability of granite and upgrade your home to the beautiful works of art from Ancient Art Stone. Centrally located in Milford, Delaware, serving all of Delmarva to make your dreams a reality. Visit us and allow our devoted professionals to craft, fabricate, and install a superior finished product that will transform your home into a work of art. Sponsored by Ancient Art Stone, where countertops are always a work of art. Well, we are in the first town of the first state, and everybody's getting their first opportunity to go get some ice cream down the street. That's just one of the wonderful things that you'll enjoy in downtown Lewis. And we're going to get to that in just a moment because we're located at 2nd and Bank Street, and folks are coming out to eat and I should join them soon. So let's go ahead and take a look at the forecast. Go ahead, y'all, hit my maps, because I'm a brother hungry. Okay, here we go. So listen, we're right now saying very clear for us at this present time. Now we are concerned about some air quality in and around the area. Um, now th that's our main concern at this present time, if there are any. We have a flow of air that's coming, been coming out of the north, but then switch coming out of the south for us. So we're looking for more in the way of heat and humidity. When that moisture and that heat's coming out of the south like this, that sets us up for more moisture beginning to kick in for us and give us a chance of more muggy conditions. But here's what's happening. You see, we have this cold front that's gonna be sliding its way down towards the southeast. And that's going to drop the temperature and the dew point temperatures in such a way that's going to allow us to enjoy much cooler conditions. As you take a look at our forecast, for tomorrow we're looking for lower humidity and a cool breeze and 80 degrees. So that's going to be very helpful. But then Wednesday, we're still going to be in the grips of the cooler air. It's like a two for one sale on beautiful weather, right? Now, with that being the case, take a look at our beach forecast. We're looking at it continuing to stay in the 70s and then 80s by the time we get to, let's say, Thursday for us in, uh, down in Wallops Island. Now, as we move up, for example, into um, Ocean City, we're looking for 75, 75, then 77 degrees, mostly sunny skies, but a little bit warmer for us in South Bethany. Then we go up a little bit more so, and you'll notice uh, that we anticipate it's becoming, actually staying in the 80s in Cape Henlopen, but not necessarily the case for us here uh, in Dewey Beach. Finally, here's a look at the seven day forecast for us. We're looking for 80 and then 81, then 82 degrees, and we'll warm up to 89 degrees by the time we get to Friday. So we are on the coast right now. And right now we're 
parking our coastal curiosity right here in downtown Lewis on 2nd and Bank Street where everybody's walking by. Look like you're going to get ice cream. Ice cream? Yes, sir. That's right, ice cream. Everybody's going to get ice cream. I'm working, everybody's going to get ice cream. Listen, you can have, they have everything here. Not only do they have shops to shop, so to speak, but I mean, first of all, the clock that was set up here, it was actually brought to here together because of a donation that was brought together by several folks here. And then the, uh, not only here, but Lewis at one point was actually the seat of Sussex County. No longer is it the seat of Sussex County. Uh, but also, go ahead, go ahead. But not only that, but it's now an opportunity for you to see things like the award-winning Lewis and Bloom tending of the gardens there. And not only that, but you just have that opportunity to basically just explore different aspects of Lewis right here. And it's very pedestrian friendly. And they've made sure they've had access for handicapped access throughout all of the sidewalks here. Absolutely gorgeous opportunity here. Live in Lewis, I'm Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams. Back to you. Thank you, Paul. Are you looking for some nautical activities to end the summer with? Sounds fun. Today marks the last week of free educational programs offered by the Ocean City Life Saving Situ Station Museum. Kids can learn about beach safety, knot tying, ocean animals, and aquarium feeding all week long. Each program starts at 10 a.m. and they last approximately 30 minutes. Camping across Delaware just got easier. The Forest Service launched an online platform for reserving campsites. One of those can be found in Georgetown on your screen there. Campers can make reservations to rent the lodge and pavilions at Redden State Forest. If you'd like to make a reservation, a link can be found on our website, WRDE.com. It's time to take another look at our Coast TV poll. We want to know, should coast communities improve their roads before new developments are permitted? So far, this one's been a runaway, but let's look at the numbers anyway to see what we've got. And it is 97% saying yes, that's exactly what they should do. About 3% saying no. It could change throughout the evening, though. You can go to WRDE.com and vote, or you can use our mobile app, and we're going to have updates on that poll on Coast TV News at 11. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. All sports fans, we've officially made it. Until the month of January, every weekend from now on, we'll have regular season football. Tonight in the Battle of the Beltway in football, while there's no Lamar Jackson, there's still plenty of great storylines in this game. Ravens put their 24-game preseason win streak to the test. Tyler Hundley gets the start again under center with Anthony Brown also slated to play a half. And get another look at the Baltimore defense who welcomed Jadavion Clowney to the squad this past weekend. The former number one overall pick signed a one-year $6 million deal. On the other side of things, it's going to be Sam Howell, who recently named quarterback one for the Commanders. The North Carolina product also started the season finale last year. Howell and Washington play the Ravens tonight at 8 p.m. on ESPN. And on DSN, coming up this Saturday, we return to Harrington. Stellar Fights 57. See some familiar faces from the past two cards, including our co-main event, Will Brown, returning to the cage for another shot at the welterweight belt in Stellar Fights. That'll do it for sports. Soaring Over the Shore is brought to you by Morse Roofing and Siding. Beautiful and blue, the Delaware Bay is home to many coastal economies and communities and helps the region as well. As many as 30 species of shorebirds visit the Delaware Bay in the spring, and the beaches, mudflats, and marshes on the coast help feed Delaware's ecology. The Delaware Bay is also a peaceful home for those wanting to live on the water, but maybe without the boardwalk crowds. Denrick says the entire Delaware Bay shoreline runs from Peapatch Island near Delaware City all the way down to Lewis. And the bay apparently is recognized as an area of, quote, global ecological significance. Tourists and locals love the Delaware Bay's gentle waves and the tranquil spirit that you can't see on a map, but feel by simply being here.
Discover your future with Sussex Tech Adult Education. We offer registered apprenticeship and health profession programs and much more, which will prepare you for everything you need to succeed in your new career. Providing hands-on experience with classes taught by professionals from every industry, Sussex Tech will assist our graduates in finding their new career opportunity. To learn more about how you can earn your professional credentials that can change your life, check out Sussex Tech Adult Education online. Your future is waiting for you at Sussex Tech Adult Education. You bet your life. Get out of here. No, you get out of here. The last of summer will draw you in at Toyota's national sales event. It's like a magnet, but for people. Buy a Tacoma with special APR financing as low as 3.99%. Toyota, let's go places. When choosing windows and doors for your home, at Pella, it's your choice. We manufacture maintenance-free vinyl, fiberglass, and wood-clad windows and patio doors, all with lifetime warranties. High performance, energy efficient, and loaded with options to help make your house your home. Industry first features and benefits make living easier and increase your home's value. Visit our Experience Center or call us today to schedule your free in-home consultation where we bring the showroom to you. Coastal Del Marva has so much going on. Food, friends, fun, and more. Why don't we just show you? Coast Life, weekdays at 4 on WRDE Coast TV. Download the DSN app today, driven by Preston Automotive Group. The sun is setting on Toyota's national sales event. Wait, they have until September 5th. Pick a 23 Tundra, named a top 10 vehicle with best resale value according to Kelly Blue Book. Toyota, let's go places. This summer, pack your bags and head to Ocean City, Maryland for free family fun all summer long. Watch beach movies, build sandcastles, and gaze at colorful kites, all completely free. Bust a move from the beach to the bay with beach dance parties, sunset park party nights, and Sundays in the park with fireworks, all completely free. Enjoy arts and crafts, discover Ocean City's history, and be in awe of acrobatic stunts at the circus, all completely free. So get going. Family memories are waiting to be made in Ocean City, Maryland. Plan your trip now at Oceocean.com. WRDE First Alert Weather, brought to you by Ocean City, Maryland. We're live in downtown Lewis. Come down and enjoy the restaurant scene and the ice cream. Here's a quick peek at your exclusive 10-day forecast. 80 to 81 to 82, then we'll bust an 89 with a chance of showers by Friday. Thank you, Paul, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news, more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The NBC Nightly News is up next. And we'll see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 11. Have a great evening.